My unique phenotype is Darwin's tubercle. Named because Charles Darwin described it in The Descent of Man as the extreme margin of the ear folded inwards, with the whole external ear being pressed backward. Generally considered as a point at the top helix or superior helix of the ear as you can see in these pictures. Although not well studied statistically, this trait is found in 10.5% of Spanish people, 40% of Indians, and 58% of Swedes. Inheritance of this trait was thought to be autosomal dominant, but that is still in question. To this point, Darwin's tubercle does not require treatment. And you can see that my left ear has this prominence. I want to show you some of my family members' ears also. Um, I was born with this. Uh, my parents noted that I had this on my ear early on in my life. Here is my father's ear. And you can see that he does not have Darwin's tubercle. This is an old picture of my mother as a child, and we believe that she does have Darwin's tubercle, although difficult to see in this picture. I want to show you a picture of my wife's ear, also, just uh, because I want to show you my children also, and you can see that my wife does not have Darwin's tubercle on her right ear. Here is my son, my 14 year old son's ear, and you can see that it appears that he does not have Darwin's tubercle either. Last, let's go to my daughter's ear, and a little difficult to see, I don't know if we can say that she has Darwin's tubercle at this point. So, it appears that me and my mom have Darwin's tubercle, and that is my unique phenotype.